Um, he got caught up in human smuggling, human trafficking, whatever you want to call it. He was helping the illegal aliens get across the border. Just got his CDLs. He lost them for life, ended up going to jail. This is his story. I don't want to take nothing away from it, but uh, he reached out and wanted to tell his story. So go ahead, boss. T tell us tell us everything from the beginning. Yes, sir. So, yeah, that is true. I did lose my CDL license on behalf of smuggling uh, illegal immigrants uh, across the border of Laredo. Well, well, they were coming from Mexico, but they uh, Laredo was the, uh, the, the was the checkoff was the, was the stopping point. And uh, from there, I, ha I had to get across Laredo. But make a long story short, uh, I had got with the uh, with a contractor. Uh, I met on this guy when I was in the hot, when I was uh, getting my hair cut. He was a barber and he had got his license or whatnot. And also at the time he said, man, hey, you know, when you whenever you uh, get your CDL, man, because I, I let him know that I was in I was in um, truck driving school. I said, well, when I get my CDL, man, I'm going to get with you, man. And uh, right. from, this, from that standpoint, um, from that standpoint, it, I went to truck driving school. I went to Star Truck Driving School. Actually, that was the name of the place, Star Truck Driving School. Um, I attend in October, and I graduated in January. And from when I graduated, I got my CDL. Um, I called him and said, hey, you know, I got my CDL, man. You got any work done? You know, got any work? You know, you're like, yeah, man, I got my own He's like I got my own right. truck now, so you know, right. so, you know, hey, whenever you uh, whenever you get ready, man, um, you know, come on, uh, come and see me, man. I'm in I'm in Dallas, Texas, right now, so you know, you come and see me, man, and um, uh, and uh, I got plenty of I got plenty of work for you, you know what I'm saying? So I said okay, so I contemplated, I contemplated on it. Uh, I was waiting actually for a company here, stationed in Chicago, where I'm from, and um. Waiting for a company to uh to call back. Waiting for this particular company to call me back. Uh, they was actually going to hire me as a team driver, so I had to have a partner with that team driver. And, yeah. Um. So I at the time they didn't they didn't have a uh, extra driver, so I waited around, waited around. So when the weather broke, that was in March actually. Uh, the weather broke and um, still nothing was happening. So I got antsy and went on ahead and called the guy and said, "Hey, you know, you know, you, you still got a, you still got work going on." He's like, "Yeah, man, you come on down here to Dallas, man. Uh, I pick you up from the airport and we'll go to the yard. You go pick up the truck and um, and uh, you'll 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 meet some people, you know. There, I got the people that I, that I uh, got the truck up under the company. I got that truck up under. Uh, you're gonna meet them." And uh, those guys, not knowing, I get there. Those guys, they were uh, they were Hispanic, and um, and so they had like a little uh, interview. I guess they were. No, it was happening at that time. Yeah. So, you no. Know, so when I got there, they, uh, the other the his, the guys in that company, they were like kind of like trying to feel me out to see what I was all about, and you know. You know, just trying to check my uh, my demeanor, you know. So that's when they laid it on me. You know, we got some work for you to do, man. And um, uh, it's pretty. It's it's for now. It's kind of dangerous because they at first they they wanted me to uh, transport uh, uh, kilos, kilos of cocaine, you know, and uh, yeah. So the deal. The deal was they they will um they will give me uh ten ten kilograms ten keys and uh, once I get to the drop point I get to keep one of the kilograms so I'm delivering nine to the drop wow. spot so uh, wow. so so yeah so with that being said uh, they were like well you know. Well, uh, we got to build a trust with you. So, you know, we're going to start you off with people. Um, so, um, you were like, people? Uh -huh. People, yeah, that's what I said, people. I said, okay, uh, people, which we have people. I said, yeah, so what you're going to do is uh, from Dallas here, you're going to take the truck, you're going to drive down to Laredo, Texas. 
And from at Laredo, you're going to get a hotel room there. And uh, you're going to stay there. It's like kind of like kind of like overnight, you know, just stay there in the morning time. I've been to Laredo several times. Yep. And and once you get there, we're going to um, the morning time come. You're going to get a call and um, they're going to come being transported to you in Laredo at that hotel. So all you need to do is just have the doors unlocked to your truck. And and uh, so that way you don't you don't have to go in and have to direct them to get in there. They know what to do. So um, right. so I had I had the door unlocked for sure, and I just wait around the hotel or whatnot until it's all wet. And then once they um uh, once they they I got the call to say hey they all in there. I got the call from the contractor who I was working for. He was like uh right. yeah, they all they all in there man. You can head on out. So I had to go to the border patrol checkpoint in order to get them there, uh, get to the drop spot. The drop spot was San Antonio. Right, there's several of them from Laredo, from Laredo to San Antonio. I, you know, we used to haul. Uh, I used to haul Avon down, and I would haul down to Laredo. Then Laredo, I'd go back up. There's several checkpoints along mm-hmm. the way, like along the way between, between Laredo and San Antonio, right? Yeah, uh, actually, actually, at that it was this one. It was one checkpoint. If several more, like if you was going to Houston or whatnot, there's a checkpoint there. Uh, but this one particular checkpoint was right in Laredo. I had to come out of to get to San Antonio. Once I got past San Antonio, um, once I got past Laredo, that checkpoint, I was pretty much free, free, good, you know. So I got to that checkpoint in Laredo, and they uh the, the Border Patrol agents were there. They um they didn't. They didn't search the cab or whatnot because I didn't even have a. Tra- I didn't even have him in the trailer. I was Bob telling, you know. So these guys. I think I'm losing you there. Yeah. All right. So last thing you had, you were headed to, um, headed to Laredo. I lost you there again. Let me go ahead and try to add him back on here. Heard you were you're on your way from Laredo. You were headed back with your first group, and what happened? You got stopped by a checkpoint. Uh, actually, uh. I uh I went through I went actually I went for three weeks I did it you know I did it for three weeks not straight but uh three days for three weeks on the fourth week on the second day I um uh, that's when I got caught with uh with the immigrants uh I believe I was set up I was they maybe they told on me maybe uh <laughs> Uh, you know, say, hey, you know, we're getting tired of pickers at that at that time. I was uh I was smuggling eight people at a time. So I I had got so wow. it was so it was so easy. So I I I started going twice across the board the checkpoint. So I was delivering 16 people a day and they were paying the cartels, they were paying a thousand per head. You know, each time. So I was making wow. I was making sixteen thousand a day, you know, uh for the three days. Wow. And um wow. so but how they took care of me was I had I I had got the chance to keep ten thousand and they, I had to pay the six thousand to uh to the to the to the uh to the guy um so that he can pay his guy. To uh for the uh for the for the I guess for the hookup, you know. So so with that being said, you still there? Wisconsin, that we 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 back again. Yep. All yeah. right, so go ahead. So so yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. So sixteen thousand a day, you know, for three days a week. I went uh three weeks straight, and for the last week, um, on the second day, that's when I. That's when I, uh, you know, got uh, I got hit with transporting. Right. Um, and you think you think they set you up just to go ahead and get rid of you? Oh yeah, just to get rid of, just to get rid of me. And um, because I believe it's a game, you know, you use they use you as a pawn because right. that way they can have other trucks that's coming through with kilograms and money and more people right. that are on trailers. You got people, you got people that's um. That's coming through on trailers, and it's about they pack in about a hundred people on them trailers. 
You know, right, so right, right. You know, so was you I in a was I, you in a box truck or was you in a fifty uh, three foot? I was eighteen wheeler. I was. Yeah, I was in the eighteen wheeler. I was. Yep, okay. I was in the eighteen wheeler. Wheeler, and um, wow. but I didn't have I didn't have no trailer on it. I was Bob telling. You know. Wow. So, so you had them in the back. You had them in the back of your cab, like in the back in the bunk. Yeah, they was they was in the bunk. They was actually oh, lined wow. up okay. in the bunk. They was lined up With in the, the bunk. I had eight eight people. No, 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 no curtain shaker. That was they made it obvious. They made it obvious to them that I would have had somebody transporting somebody. So I left the curtain. So So what it was out in the sleeper berth, I will have six under in the sleeper berth, and you have one in my closet, and then one. It used to be refrigerated right there, you know, but it's no refrigerator there. So he'd be he'd be tucked right there in the cut there with a cooler sitting there. Wow! Wow! Yeah. So I have six of them. They are in the sleeper berth lined up you know lined up from foot from head so to you, foot head to foot so so you lost your cdls obviously you went to jail it kind of messed your whole mm-hmm. life up right yes so sir your message to these cdl drivers i know when you contacted me you said you want to let people know you know how they will get you how money you know get you and man that money goes that happens everywhere in the world people try to get you that quick dollar but if you had a message out there to the new cdl drivers the new truck drivers what would that be the message would it be if you get approached like I have been approached to take that deal and for the amount that it would do, please do not do it because at the end of the day, you will make more just b- driving and working legit than That's just no put that quick dollar at the, that time to say, hey, oh, I got a hundred thousand dollars in a month and, and I'm all right, you know, no. Right, right. You gotta go for the long haul. You gotta go for the long haul. You gotta go for the go. So then, at the same time, you are keeping yourself in good standards right. with the with, yep with the federal and with the company that you're working for. Well, uh, I, but I just admire not you. I admire it. you. I admire you for coming on and being able to tell this story. A lot of people wouldn't want to do it, but you, maybe you're going to help somebody. Maybe if you're out there listening, drivers, and you hear his story, he just got his CDLs. They offered him money. You know, they offered him money to do something. He went and just to go do it and uh, make that quick dollar. It didn't work out. Now he lost his CDLs. And you know what? It takes a lot of courage to get online and actually say, hey, this is where I messed up. But, you know, if anybody can learn from your mistakes, man, that's great. If it helps one person out, man, that's great. And I really that appreciate you coming on. And letting everybody know, man, I really, I really do, dude. Um, hey, I, you know, I'm sorry flat, you had to go through flat, that. It sucks, but hey, man, you did your time. You did your time, and you know, what I'm saying? you, you got to move on. But you're giving back to society now by, you know, what I'm saying by just trying to help people and, and encourage people not to do these things and let them know there's a price to pay. And I appreciate that, it man. Is. Thanks for joining me. No problem, sir. Uh, no hey, problem for any time, sir. Uh, no problem. Thanks for just uh, selecting my channel. Hey, if y'all are new, subscribe to the channel, hit that like button. It's Trucking Life with Sean. Hey, I appreciate yes, it, man. Sir. We'll be in touch, bud. Thanks, man. Yes, sir, brother.